Looks like rain again. There's nothing I like better than to take you along with me when I harvest, but uh, it, the, <laughs> the humidity is just too much that I just went out there, pick what I need for my cooking channel, some herbs that I need, and I almost got carried away and started picking things along with it but uh, I can't handle the heat or the humidity so I'm leaving that to my husband but what I really need was this uh, this here these are my ahisi dulce or sweet peppers that's what I used to make uh, sofrito with Wait, let me go back to that <laughs> oh my goodness I am so hot now Prior to this uh, video here, I showed you that my butternut squash is going very nice. And as you can see, it's perfect for harvesting. I can save me some seed of these because these are my heirloom. Uh, I would say, if I'm not mistaken, my seeds that I have been plant, uh, planting are like 98 to 99% heirlooms and uh, organic non-GMO seeds and my butternut squash did so well this year oh my goodness look at this I am so pleased with this one to me it might not be as big as others grow it but since this is my first very successful uh, butternut squash harvest and I got so much more well pardon the word so much but I have at least uh, four to five more butternut squash out there and just look at the size of this it's beautiful it's huge <laughs> to me that's a big butternut squash okay can put my hand around that that's really big and by this here really nice and wide how can anyone be so happy and uh, fascinated by butternut squash? <laughs> I don't know, but I am. And, well, I got me a handful of... See, with green beans, you have to pick them before they get too, too mature. This is just, this is perfect. But uh, I still have some green beans out there, more than enough for me to make a dish uh, together with this. And... Uh, In the process, I picked some tomatoes that I'm, I mean, not that I don't have enough tomatoes in my kitchen, but this is so close to my, these are so close to my hand that I decided to pick them. But also that I knocked <laughs> some green ones by mistake, by, but uh, this is what I was really after today is ahisi dulce and culantro I will be cooking something which I'm going uh, I'm gonna be posting on my cooking channel so this is today's harvest unintentional harvest <laughs> but I have some uh, cucumber a couple of cu cucumber look how beautiful and long that so your long cucumber and of course my beautiful butternut squash I picked two of them today and that's today's harvest so today's Saturday June 18th and this will probably be the most tomato harvest I will be getting from now on uh, things are winding down with the tomatoes and this is today's harvest this year, I guess these two are about the biggest tomato I have. It's not too bad. It's not a very bad size at all, but uh, every year I kind of look for something that came out a little bigger than the rest. <laughs> these two seems to be the best so far this year. But uh, 
my tomato harvest is slowing down or winding down and for today's harvest that's what I have I have some I, I got me some bitter melon as well and there's a lot of bitter melon that's one thing <laughs> and I have eggplant some more cucumbers and my yard long beans are coming up nice very long I guess that's why they call it yard long I mean it's not actually a yard long in measurement but it's kind of long I don't have a lot of beans this year I plant them sporadically you know here and there and I, I got that in one area so that's not bad so again this is today's harvest look at that isn't that a big difference <laughs> this is how it is now Up after a heavy downpour we got extremely sunny day <laughs> 